Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I am going to practically demonstrate one of the exceptions that may occur during Selenium automation, that is JavaScript exception. So let's get started. So when does this exception occur? So in Selenium automation, that is in Selenium Python, you can run some JavaScript code using execute script command. Okay. And to that execute script command, you are going to pass some JavaScript code. And if you do any mistake in that JavaScript code, okay, that is being passed to this execute script command of Selenium Python, right? If there is any mistake in the JavaScript code, then that command in Selenium Python is going to give you this exception known as JavaScript exception. Okay. So let me practically demonstrate. You see, in this uh, statement, there is a mistake. Okay. This is a JavaScript. Uh, uh, statement okay that I'm going to pass or going to run from the Selenium Python script okay but in this JavaScript code you see some closing circular bracket is missing okay because of this you'll get this exception let me practically show you that for that I'll switch to this PyCharm IDE where we have some sample Selenium Python code for opening the Chrome browser for maximizing the browser window and here I need to open the application URL so I'll open this application URL copy this paste it here. After opening this application URL, what I want to do after opening this, I want to, let's say, enter some text into the text area field. I inspect this text area field. I'll create a web element out of this. Uh, okay. For this particular text area field, I'll create a web element in the Selenium code. Copy this ID and here I'll write down driver dot find element by dot ID. Give the ID of the text area field and here I'll say uh, text area field is equal to some name I gave for the web element after creating that. Now I'm going to run some JavaScript code to run the JavaScript code from Selenium Python script. We have to use the command execute script command in that you double quotes, put a comma here and give this text area field here. Okay. Now, first I'll write a proper JavaScript code without any mistakes and all. Okay. So you will see everything is working fine. Okay. In this example. Arguments of zero means this text area field, which is coming after the comma. Say dot value is equal to, I'll give my name, let's say Arun Murphy. Okay. This is a valid uh, JavaScript code without any mistakes. Here, I'll give some time dot slip so that you can see that everything is working fine, first of all. And uh, after that, I'll quit the browser. Run the script. This, there is no mistake in this JavaScript given to the execute script command. So, you will not get any exception. Rather, you will see my name getting typed into the text area field. You see, my name got typed into the text area field. That's good. But what if I, you know, uh, intentionally make a mistake where, you know, I forget to provide the closing circular bracket in, in arguments of zero, right? After zero, the closing circular bracket is missing. Now run the script. Let's see what's going to happen. You see, immediately an exception came. That exception is nothing but the JavaScript exception. So hope guys you understood what exactly is the JavaScript exception in Selenium Python and when does it occur. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.